All right, I'm doing a lot of running around at the moment, so I'm going to keep this brief. Um, so this is Galen Nash. I, I actually recently did his podcast, uh, Barely Serious, and uh, he's a dope guy. I, I did a, If you check out um, the ACMM episode 82.1 or 82.2, I do this whole long thing about going up to Orchid, California and doing a show with him. It's was, it was one of the more memorable shows of my career if you can call it that at this point and i just really like this guy he hustles he works hard at what he does and i just have i just have the utmost respect for him so this is galen nash yo what up aaron and everybody listening this is uh galen nash here thanks for having me on this bonus episode man i really appreciate it about to have some fun um you asked me what got you into comedy who inspires me and my worst bombing story uh, it wasn't like a particular thing that got me into comedy, uh, but growing up with a name like Galen, uh, one, you got to get tough skin at a very young age. My name is spelled G-A-L-Y-N, but pronounced Galen and, you know, gay. <laughs> You're going to get bullied in elementary school. Kids are fucking savage, dude. I uh, learned that very early. Uh, and so one time, one time all the kids were calling me gay and shit, whatever. I got all upset. I came home to my stepdad. And this was like young, young, like first grade. And he was like, oh, you need to, like, I was like, how do I, how do I respond to this? Like, how do I get them to stop teasing me? All this stuff. And he was like, you should tell them that they need to look it up in the dictionary, how to spell gay and then insult them for not being able to spell. I was like, that's stupid. That would literally never fucking work. Uh, Which led to number two, get funny. Like if you are more entertaining, if you provide more entertainment to these people, to these kids, adults anybody than your name provides they're gonna forget about your name altogether and it's not gonna matter and so that's what ended up happening i just ended up getting really funny uh became a class clown uh and now i'm now i'm thankful for my name because i mean you meet me once you're not gonna forget my name you're gonna meet you're gonna have an interaction with me you don't forget me and which is which is great there's so many there's so many times i also have like a bad memory with uh meeting people uh one time i was at this this party at my friend's house and I didn't really know that many people, but it's one of those where, like, uh, they know that I do comedy and stuff, and this guy uh, was there, and I was standing next to him, so I was like, I felt bad, so I was like, oh, hey, man, like, how's it going? Name's Galen, and he was like, I know, we've literally met, like, four times, and I was like, oh, fuck, but honestly, dude, that's, like, on him, you know, like, be more memorable, be more memorable then, you know, Uh, I should never meet someone, you know, four fucking times and not remember who you are. But that doesn't happen with a name like Galen. You don't forget that shit. Uh, and so now I'm, you know, extremely thankful. People ask me why I don't just go with my middle name, and it, my middle name's freaking Isaiah, and I don't go with it, or I didn't go with it because I still don't even know how to spell it. <laughs> anytime, anytime I have to like fill out like court documents or or like like re up my ID, I have to look at my driver's license and spell it because it's it's like, oh, is it a Z? Is it an S? And every time I think it's opposite, it's flipped. And it's like, fuck, dude. I mean, I don't even know when my mom's birthday is, you know, it's either February 8th or February, February 9th. And every year I always flip it. I'm like, oh, I got it down this year. Oh shit. Like, fuck it was, it was the ninth or it was the eighth. Uh, and I always fuck that up. But, um, yeah, I just became a class clown and you know, it was funny because I, I found my middle school yearbook and from a young, just from a young age, I knew that I was going to be a stand-up comedian. I knew that I was going to do stand-up comedy. I knew that I was funny. Uh, and I found my, my middle school yearbook from 2010. And in the middle of it, there was this section that said, I predict in 2020, I will be blank. And we all filled out some bullshit. You know, it would be, just kids would be like aeronautic engineer, designer, or playing football for the Chargers, some bullshit. And then mine said one word, comedian. Uh, and when I found that it, it gave me chills, uh, it was, it was crazy. It's just like one of those things that you just know from a young age that you're going to be doing, uh, what I'm doing now. And it's, it's incredible. Uh, but yeah, became a class clown, uh, entertaining because it's more entertaining than my name. Uh, I, an, another section in that yearbook, uh, it would be, you know, uh, remember when, and everybody would write like one sentence about like, remember when this happened, remember when this happened. Um, and literally half of everybody's things were about something that I did. Uh, so it'd be Galen did this, Galen did that. And, and the funniest one that I saw was um, at the top, some kid wrote, uh, when Galen broke Jeff's finger, and then <laughs> at the bottom it says, when Galen broke my finger. <laughs> uh, fucking Jeff, dude. Um, so shit like that. Um, that was just middle school, dude. In, in high school, I mean, I could write a book. 
about all these stories about stupid shit and stupid all these jokes uh you know fake the seizure give kids laxatives teachers laxatives like told jokes all this shit my favorite story though um dude um there was this facebook group that had every kid in the school in it because there was this all school assembly i went to fountain valley high school and it was called the baron games it was it was dumb you know it would be the the freshmen versus the freshmen and the seniors on a team and the juniors and the sophomores on the same team and blue team gold team all stupid it's, it was dumb um but there was this facebook group that had everybody in it and i didn't know that everybody was in it and so this was like four months after the assembly nobody's posted in this group in like four months and so like one night i was just bored and i just wrote penis I, I sent it to the group, this Facebook group. I just said penis, right? The next day, I'm sitting in class. Totally forgot about it. I'm sitting in class, and some kid taps me on the shoulder. And he's like, uh, dude, like you're going to get in so much trouble, man. I was like, what are you talking about? And he's like, dude, you said penis in the Baron games, dude. Like fucking the principals in that group. All the principals are in that group. Every kid in school is in that fucking group. And I was like, dude, like what are you – like nah, like you're tripping. I'm not going to get in trouble. Sure enough, like five minutes later, just knock on the door – and supervision the security people were like hey we're here for galen again and it was just like fuck dude you know you're like fuck and i was like yo do i need to take my stuff and they were like yeah you need to bring your stuff and i was like fuck you know it's the fucking worst because you know you're not coming back and so i go up with them to the principal's office uh and i walk in and all the principals are sitting there and these were like these two the two buff ass like Joe Rogan motherfuckers and there's like the principal who's like in charge of like academics and then the guy who's in charge of fucking sports and then the guy who's in charge of everybody and I, I walk in there and my entire Facebook profile is printed out and this is freshman year and my entire Facebook profile is printed out on this table and I was like fuck dude in color too so like they were pissed uh and I sit down and they're like hey Galen like how's it going and I was like ah oh, you know good I guess and one of them leans forward and he's like, so, I hear you like to play the penis game. I was like, what the fuck? Like, what's going on now? And then one of the other guys was like, what? What's the penis game? And he was like, you don't know what the penis game is? Galen, let's teach him what the penis game is. So he leans over, taps me on the shoulder, and he goes, hey, Galen, psst, penis. And I just sat there. I was like, what the hell? Like, what's going on? What, like, I was just so confused. And he goes, penis and i was just like uh penis and he was like there you go penis and i was like penis and he just he, he yelled penis again uh sorry let me turn that off i yelled penis again uh and and then he was like all right i win and then it was it was just so weird and then he's like let's look at your let's look at your let's look at your facebook profile galen and he he picks up the first page now i was what fucking 13 i didn't have a job and so on my facebook profile it said um uh i worked at your mama's ass was my job and it's like the first thing on my page it says galen nash works at your mama's ass and so he reads this and he goes he goes mm, that's one big campus and dude i was dying the other principals they're just dying they were just fucking with me it was freaking hilarious uh and then afterwards they were like because i ran cross country they were like the athletic guy was like look we know who you are uh, you represent the school, all this stuff, like you wear Fountain Valley on your chest, like all this stuff. So you can't be doing stupid ass shit when you're representing the school because everybody knows who you are. And I was like, fuck, like, all right, all right. And he's like, uh, you're not in trouble. Just don't do stupid shit like that again. Uh, and then I literally never got in trouble for any of the stupid shit that I ever did, except I did get suspended for one week for the laxative thing. That was funny. Um, but well, I mean, they didn't think it was that funny, but it, everybody else thought it was funny. Um, but yeah, like I never got in trouble for anything because I had this one teacher uh, that would send me out of class for nothing like this 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 class was the heavy hitters of class clowns there was like there was more class clowns in this class than there were regular students uh and it was like we were just all like whoever wrote the schedule or designed the schedules fucking hated this teacher a hundred percent because the people who do the schedules know exactly who the fuck we are uh and they she just loaded that class the one period for this one teacher and it got to the point where she would come into class she would come into class and uh she would just be like I, I can't deal with it today get him get out of class i'd be like what the fuck like i'm pretty sure that's not even like legal and so like but i would just go and i would kick it with the supervision people they would come pick me up on the golf carts i'd just ride around on the golf carts give people fucking citations all day take their hats it was fun uh and it got to the point where like they knew me so well that uh they would give me tickets to like angel games and shit uh and so i like not only did i not get in trouble i was almost getting like rewarded for fucking around and so uh I was like, I got to keep doing this. Um, and so that was 
that was that was fun but that teacher that teacher was she ended up having like a mental breakdown later on not well not because of me but uh she was for some reason she was at this track meet and i had just won this race and so i'm walking across the track walking over to the uh where the water was and she's in the crowd and this is right after school got out so the the, the stands are packed right and i see her and so i was just like hey miss probably shouldn't say her name hey miss penis whatever uh and I was like, you like that? You know, referencing uh, me winning the race. And she just kind of like ignores me. And I was like, don't tell me you forgot who I am. Uh, like, you know, mocking like, I probably shouldn't have done that. But like, whatever, you know, you're just having fun. Uh, and she, she's like, of course, I remember who you are. How can I not? Blah, blah, blah. I've been trying to forget. I've gone to therapy, blah, 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 blah. And she just snaps. She starts screaming at me. All of a sudden, the whole meet stops. This lady's just fucking like cussing me out and shit. And uh, everybody was like, whoa, like, where'd that come from? And I was like, I have no idea. <laughs> um yeah, that lady was crazy. But I mean, I think it stems back to, um, yeah, it was just that class was loaded. One time, somebody like me and my, my lab partner, uh, Justin, we were fuckheads, dude. Uh, we would just make up stories about each kid in class. And each day, we'd pick a different kid. So like one time we picked on this one kid, Nick. Like We're like, oh, man, that guy has a, like, well, he has a blue waffle. And like, there's people like blah, blah, blah. And we would just like make up a story about this guy's blue waffle and how there's like fucking uh adventures going on inside it was it was so dumb and because the class was so boring uh but one time somebody left their locker lock on our station desk or whatever and the kid behind me the you know he was like hey dude i dare you to put that in your ass and i was like what are you talking about he's like i double dare you and so i was like oh fuck like i have to do it now you know uh and so i, I put this lock in my ass uh well, not in it okay i'm not I didn't put it all the way in. You know, I just rubbed it on my ass. There was some hairs, whatever. Put it back on the desk. Everybody's like, oh, gross. You know, whatever. She comes in and notices that everybody's making a fuss about some lock. She doesn't know what the fuck happened to the lock. She's like, hey, like, throw it away. Do something with it. And everybody's like, oh, fuck no, dude. Fuck no. We're not touching that shit. And uh, so she was like, all right, well, fuck it. Like, so she walks over, bare hands this lock, and the whole class is like, oh, fuck. You know, like, starts freaking out. She's just like what and no, nobody says shit uh she goes and she throws it away or she puts it on top of her desk and the whole time the whole class dude, this is the beginning of class she had just walked in the whole class anytime she'd use that hand to write something on the board oh grunt dude it was so funny um and she found out later and so like i mean i guess it is i mean i may, might have a mental breakdown later and then she told supervision and i never got in trouble they were like dude that's fucking funny <laughs> um but yeah so i mean i could go on and on about class clown shit um but i mean who wasn't who who wouldn't be so yeah reason that got me into comedy just you know having to be funny to deflect uh any negativity towards my name um who inspires me uh daniel tosh is the main guy that inspires me uh his his stand-up special happy thoughts was the first stand-up special that i actually ever watched um and it was just a masterpiece it was just f fucking hilarious just just savage shit and the reason i love tosh so much i think he slept on people don't realize like how actually funny he is or, or people haven't watched uh, a lot of his stand-up because it's not like readily available like he has uh specials on comedy central but uh and tosh Bono, but people don't realize how funny his stand-up is i love him because i mean he could tell like the most savage rape joke like of all time and then the next joke would be like the cleanest joke about a teddy bear and get the same laughs then that's just how good he is and that's just incredible and that's something that i strive for when i write clean jokes or when i write dark jokes or when i write uh any kind of jokes it's just like how equivalent can this laugh break be and can i hit the same laugh break or bigger each time and build it up because that's what he does and and so that's just that's just incredible um um but yeah so like you know i got really into tosh around middle school which is around the time that i wrote that i'd be a comedian uh because i mean i just saw like just the i just the joy that he brought you know like the homies would be over would be watching tosh but i'd see them just shitting myself shitting themselves laughing and i would think man like we're not the only people watching this show uh where else in the country are all these people probably I mean, shit probably across the street millions of people watch that show millions of people know who he is uh, and he brings joy to millions of people. Uh, and so I was like, fuck, I want to be that guy because, I mean, I already had it in a small setting where I would bring joy to kids in the class. You know, you'd fuck with the teacher. Everybody laughs. That feeling multiplied by a million because now you're entertaining people that don't know who you are. And that's something that always intrigued me. 
Uh, and so whenever, like on Instagram, whenever I post something and I get messages from people that I've never met before, never heard of before, and they're like, dude, you're fucking hilarious. I've had people tell me that I'm their favorite stand-up comedian. And I'm like, yo, relax. You know what I mean? Like, like relax. I'm not there yet. But I appreciate it. I appreciate it.